Hey everybody and welcome to the end channel video blog and today what I want to do is just go over my capstone project and actually see where it is in its development and as you can see here here's the overview of it and I'm just going to put down a multimeter here to give you some relevance to compare it to. So here's a quick overview of the control panel which I'm developing for the ShapeGo uh, milling machine control system and what it has here is two DC power supplies, a terminal block, a stepper motor driver and as well as the Arduino on the bottom of it. Uh, an emergency stop and an additional switch and a whole bunch of panduit which is making sure that the wires keep really nice and organized. So as you can see here are the voltages in the system. Uh, we have 120, 12 volt and 24 volts. Now the larger power supply is the 24 volts, the smaller one is obviously 12 and 120 is just directly mounted onto the terminal blocks. Now both the DC power supplies actually distribute themselves back to the terminal blocks and all the wiring is kept neat with panduit once again. Now this is the actual control portion of the stepper motors, so this is going to be providing our position on the actual system itself. And what this is, is a stepper motor driver and an Arduino on the bottom of it. And as far as the wires go into it, uh, the black and the white wire at the bottom there are 24 volts, and then the rest is basically the distribution wires to the actual system itself. So here's the actual front of the panel so far, and what we have is a 120 outlet just to supply AC power to your laptop if need be. And above that we have emergency stop which cuts all movement to the actual CNC milling machine by cutting the power to the stepper motor driver. Then we have another switch which will ultimately be uh, wired in for environmental controls if you want to bypass all the fan movement. And underneath that is the 120 AC to the control system, so I would cut off all AC power to the DC power supplies. So ultimately that is your on off button for the entire system itself. Now the milling machine is something I didn't develop myself. It's made by Shapeco Electronics and it's based on MK aluminum channeling. It's really user friendly and it's a really great system. I'm really glad to be working with it. And as you can see there, there's a cutter in the middle uh, and that's in between the four wheels and that's based on the Fordham power carver. So the cutting power of this is about a quarter horse so it's going to have a lot of kick considering the size of the machine and all this is supported on 2 inch thick cherry wood. Now the actual support for the cherry wood which ultimately supports the CNC milling machine is two layers of 2 by 4s directly screwed onto a 3 quarter inch piece of plywood so it's very rigid, very strong. Uh, the system is actually getting a little bit heavy but it's once it's in, properly installed in a place it won't move and there won't be any questions to its structural strength. Thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully I get some more footage of this thing in actual operation and its development. There's a lot more systems to come in, such as encoder feedback on the stepper motors, as well as environmental controls, but we'll see that as it progresses. But thanks so much for watching. Have yourselves a great week, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.